chiamo Garbani Ilario, vengo dalla Valle Anzernone. My name is Ilario Garbani. I come from the Val Anzernone, one of the wildest valleys in Ticino. I'm a musician and maker of musical instruments, and I work as a teacher in an elementary school. I'm a father of two teenage boys. in una scuola elementare, sono papà di due ragazzi già grandi. My love for music began when I was in elementary school, when my music teacher gave me a recorder which I learned to play by ear. Looking for traditional songs, I interviewed elderly people who spoke of an ancient instrument called the piva. I discovered this was actually a bagpipe. As part of my search, I found church frescoes all across Ticino depicting the piva and was made aware of the discovery of a piva chanter in an old house in the Vrzaska Valley. That gave me a clear idea of what the piva looked like. My interest in bagpipes brought me to Scotland and to southern Italy. The principle of a bagpipe, no matter if it comes from southern Italy or Africa, is that you blow air into a bag, which you squeeze to produce a sound. Almost every bagpipe has a pipe producing a continuous tone, the so-called drone. drones in English. sempre questo suono. South of Rome, you can find models with two chanters. Finding the original music played on the piva is more difficult than reconstructing the instrument. But some of the repertoire can be derived from old Ticino folk songs. They have the same limited tonal range as the piva and their melodies harmonize with the drone. We have historical records from northern Italy where a lot of research material was gathered on church bells. The churches in Bergamasco have eight or nine bells. The melodies played on those bells originated from bagpipes. Now, those melodies are coming back down from the church towers to be played again on the piva and other bagpipes. As a teacher, I naturally enjoy doing research. I once asked my pupils to go out and interview old people about forgotten songs. One girl returned with a song that was completely different from any Ticinese song I'd heard before. It was about a woman expressing her disappointment over her marriage, which is quite unusual, since women traditionally didn't have the courage to say such things. I then realized how much there was still to learn about Ticino. Ticino.